Fives crocodiles come from the subfamily of crocodilnid. They are big semi-aquatic reptiles down in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. Australia crocodiles can be scary. They have big sharp teeth, which regrow if damaged. Being carnivores means they eat meat only when in the wild. Crocodiles love feasting on fishes, birds, mice, and crustaceans, moreover. There can also be cannibalism in crocodiles. Smaller crocodiles often become the prey of the larger ones. It is hard to believe that some other animals in the wild can defeat the tough crocodile. Let's talk about the animals that can defeat crocodiles, alligators, and caimans, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. Number 10, the jaguar. In South American rainforest, jaguars feed on crocodiles after hunting them and defeating them in a fight. Jaguars have a strong bite force. They also love swimming, which adds to their advantage in this scenario. Unlike other big cats, jaguars love water and don't shy away from it. They like living near rivers and feeding on fishes and baby crocodiles. This fact helps them in defeating the crocodiles. Moreover, the other big cats attack their prey by clamping their jaws around the prey's neck and suffocating them to death. However, jaguars don't attack this way. They puncture the crocodile with strong bites. They have powerful jaw muscle mass that helps them in this. Eliminating technique jaguars bite the back of the crocodile's head strongly enforcing their canines into the prey's head. Number 9. Anaconda Anacondas or water boas are, are snakes of the genus name Anectus. Down in tropical South America, anacondas can win in the fight against a single crocodile. Anacondas feed on fishes, rodents, jaguars, and crocodiles. It is also not uncommon for female anacondas to eat males. The interesting phenomenon is how the anacondas swallow whatever huge animal they eat. It can take them five hours to swallow a crocodile. It can be strange to imagine the possibility of anaconda waning against the crocodile. The anacondas are very muscular. They are a constrictor and have sharp teeth and strong jaws. The anacondas use their strong features to attach them to the crocodile by grabbing their neck and suffocating them. At times, they also grab the crocodile's neck, bite it, and drown it underwater. Number 8. The Hippopotamus Up next, a hippopotamus can easily defeat a crocodile. Note that it is the only animal discussed up until now that does not kill the crocodile in order to eat it. Hippopotamus are mostly herbivores and semi-aquatic mammals. Their diet mainly consists of only grass and sometimes aquatic plants. However, hippos can be among the top most dangerous animals in the world. They have an aggressive nature, and it is hard to predict the hippo's next move. Hippos become threatened by loss of habitat. Crocodiles share their habitat with the hippopotamuses, and this often leads to a fight between the two. It is common for the hippo to eventually kill the crocodile and the fight if they feel their habitat is threatened. Hippos attack the crocodiles by their long teeth and huge mouths into the crocodile's flesh. Their ivory canines cut open the thick crocodile skin. Hence, hippos we must say are quite experts in defending themselves against the crocodiles. Number 7. Killer Whale Killer whales are whales with tooth, and they belong to the oceanic dolphin family. The diet of the killer whale is quite diverse. Being apex predators, no animals dares to prey on killer whales. Hence, it's no surprise that in a fight between the crocodile and the killer whale, killer whale wins. No matter how much the saltwater crocodile weighs, it can weigh more than 1,000 kg, yet it would not be a problem for the killer whale to defeat it. The weight of the killer whale is just too much for the crocodile to harm it. Moreover, the orca is a mammal. Mammals are more intelligent, and thus orca uses tactics that easily kill the seawater crocodile. The crocodile's mouth is not big enough to grab and bite the head of the orca. Number 6. Snakes Pythons can subdue an enormous prey by encircling it with their muscular bodies and suffocating it. The task of eliminating a huge aggressive predator like a freshwater crocodile is just half completed. The other half is eating it, and that is what this albino python is trying to do. He looks to be doing an excellent job because he almost swallowed the entire crocodile in a battle to the death between two Amazonian reptiles. They have come to a standstill and are now fighting for their lives, who will come out on top. Locals got a good look at it because one man had an old digital camera with him. He was able to capture this Wonofa kind experience. This python is eating this alligator alive. You can see the alligator trying to escape, but it looks like it is not going to happen. This is one big powerful snake, but it is not an easy kill because the alligator almost gets out of the hole and out of the python's mouth. After a five-hour lengthy battle, a snake fought wrestled and then devoured a crocodile in Queensland, Australia. The incident was caught on camera in front of a shocked crowd of onlookers. The snake, which is thought to be around 10th long, constricts 
and then devours the large, fearsome crocodile. Number 5. Otter vs. Cayman Otters can be some of the nastiest creatures on the planet. They may appear cute, but they are no strangers to heinous acts, such as capturing newborn otters and keeping them for ransom in exchange for food. But hey, they must eat, don't they? Otters are carnivores who require a quarter of their body weight in food every day. Oddly enough, otters are often the apex predators or close to the top. These otters are looking for a caiman, and they dive underwater to get a better look before disappearing in the foliage. It appears they have made a kill, but it's impossible to see exactly what has happened. A caiman swims in the water when two otters pop their heads out of the water. There is no conflict as the caiman continues moving forward. The massive crocodile in this footage doesn't seem to bother these otters in the least. No matter how large their opponent is, they will charge and attack when attacked by larger predators. Like crocodiles, otters are known to band together and collaborate. As you can see in the following clips, two otters are responsible for protecting and training six pups in the ways of the forest when a caiman approaches the family in search of a meal. This otter father has a lot on its plate. The two otters waste little time in encircling the caiman and striking first. Before the caiman can do any damage, the cubs become panicked and accidentally follow their parents into the fight, which is not good. The parents must now continue to fight the caiman while also worrying about the puppy's safety. The adult otters strengthen their attack and prevent the caiman from fleeing, but the damage has been done. And although the caiman has perished at the hands of the otters, two of the pups have been killed in the process. Number 4. Horseshoe Crab I'm not sure if crocodiles encounter many horseshoe crabs in their lifetime, but the horseshoe crab in our thumbnail is no cakewalk for this crocodile. Of course, the crocodile will end up crushing the crab. But with that long tailspin on the crab, you must be careful, right? Wrong. Although it is pointed and long, it is not venomous or used for stinging. To avoid being knocked over, horseshoe crabs use their tails to flip themselves over. You can see how this man is putting his hand on this horseshoe crab's underbelly and the crab doesn't hurt him at all. All it does is try to hold on to the hand they are inoffensive creatures. The man throws the crab back into the water where it belongs. When you go to the beach on the Atlantic coast, you will see many horseshoe crabs washed up on shore just like this one. I remember when I was a kid going to Wildwood every summer. I would see so many of these crabs and they terrified us. Little did we know they weren't dangerous. This crocodile finds a crunchy horseshoe crab and takes advantage of it as it snatches crushes and gobbles it up in no time. Number three, buffalo bulls have been known to be prey for crocodile. So when his friend was in trouble, a second bull intervened and launched the reptile out of harm's way. The crocodiles appeared to be severely injured despite being gored to death. Despite escaping the clutches of a crocodile, this buffalo loses one of its legs to the reptile. The rest of the herd examines the injured buffalo as you can barely stand. Number two, baboons. There are several examples in this video that show how baboons can take down even the largest of crocodiles. Some of the baboons are braver than others. And once they jump over the crocodile, the rest of the troop follows Sue. As soon as the baby is snatched, the mother comes to the rescue and snatches it back from the crocodile herself. Damage has already been done, and the baby baboon is dead. Despite mom's efforts, it was not enough to save her offspring from this nasty attack. A mugger crocodile bit into the arm of a gray langur while it was drinking water. So monkey fought for over an hour to save his own life. At some point, the monkey was able to free its arm from the assailant seats. During the fight, the monkey fractured its arm, which could be fatal in the wild. Number 1. Tiger Tigers are cunning and conservative animals. They don't go ahead and look for trouble. Instead, they calculate how much risk they can take or how much danger they are able to suffer. Tiger's diet is diverse from termites to elephant calves, deer, cows, buffaloes, or goats. They feast on different animals. Royal Bengal tigers are famous for taking down a saltwater crocodile single-handedly. Usually the fight takes place on land. Tigers attack from behind relying on stealth to kill their prey. We hope you are this video make sure to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of the next amazing video.